we're talking about it again. The water bills in Baltimore. And here's the latest now. There's a discount. There's a mm -hmm. discount for water bills if you can prove your unemployment eligibility. But city council members and advocates are calling for more steps to bring financial relief. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs attended a virtual press conference about what they'd like to see. They want to ease the financial burden on residents as much as possible and make sure people aren't accruing debt because of water bills. Today, council members and advocates called Mayor Jack Young's COVID-19 discount a victory, but they want to see more action and less barriers. We're talking about a level of devastation that I just think is unprecedented. These council members hear from constituents daily. The impact the pandemic is having on health, on finances. Our residents are filing for unemployment at a staggering rate. Councilwoman Shannon Sneed says one way to help is relief from water bills. She thanked Mayor Jack Young for expanding the current assistance program to customers who can prove unemployment eligibility. But during a virtual press conference today, she joined other council members and advocates in calling for more to be done, especially since customers will get larger than usual bills in May because of the billing delay. Far too many residents were already struggling with unaffordable water bills before this crisis. They want to see the discount expanded to small businesses and renters whose names aren't on their water bill. Renters cannot apply for the discount. They can't apply for a payment plan unless their landlord intervenes on their behalf. This is an enormous barrier for many tenants who are more likely to be lower income than homeowners. This is something advocates say the Water Accountability and Equity Act would fix. Young signed it into law earlier this year, but it's not yet implemented. The Water for All program is needed because it will not only cap water bills as an, at an affordable percentage of household income, but it will also create a pathway out of water debt that will be so needed for families who have lost jobs and wages due to COVID-19. Next Thursday, there's a virtual committee hearing where staff from the Department of Finance and the Department of Public Works are expected to give updates on the act's implementation. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.